dar a luz, dar a luz, <ríe> me, dar a luz. We're using again the verb dar, dar to give, luz means light, okay? So what are we talking about here? Are we talking about giving light to someone? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. The meaning is to give birth, okay? Dar a luz means to give birth. And uh, we're not talking about light. We're not talking about, well, we're saying to give, right? So that's good. That's the meaning of dar. But luz means light. In this situation, it doesn't mean light. It means birth, okay? Dar a luz. Remember a, okay? You need to include this. This is important. Dar, because if you say dar luz, that's like you're talking about light, okay? Um, and it's it doesn't make much sense. It makes sense to say dar a luz. Dar a luz, to give birth. Let's look at some examples using <laughs> using this um, <laughs> this phrase. Okay. The first meaning is, I mean the first meaning, the first example is María dio a luz un, un bebé hermoso. You can include a, un, dio a luz a un bebé hermoso. Uh, you can say it also the previous version, María dio a luz un bebé hermoso, that's fine, or María dio a luz a un bebé hermoso, that's commonly said in Spanish for sure. Okay, so the meaning of this is, it says Mary, similar, I mean, if you want to translate María, it's Mary, right? But uh, let's leave it Maria, okay? Maria, just like that. Maria dio a luz a un bebé hermoso. Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby, okay? Now, let's break this down. Maria, Maria means, well, you know what that means? I just told you. Dio, dio. Again, we're using dar, this verb, past tense, okay? It already happened. Dio a luz, gave birth a to un bebé, un bebé, a baby, okay? Now, we have the noun first and then the adjective. So that's very common in Spanish. Hermoso, hermoso, beautiful. And we're saying hermoso because bebé can be feminine and masculine. La bebé, female baby. El bebé, uh, male baby. Okay, but if we're saying hermoso, we are referring to a baby boy. Okay, if it's a, a little girl, a baby girl, then it will be hermosa. And this will be una. Okay, so let me just uh, erase this. María dio a luz a una bebé hermosa. That means uh, Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby girl, okay? If you're saying un bebé hermoso, Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby boy, or it could be, it could refer to uh, just a baby. You know, you don't know if the baby is a uh, female or male, um, so you can just say, say it like that, bebé hermoso, 
okay? And um, that's okay as well. And it can also refer to a male baby, a baby boy, okay? Excellent. Let's look at another example. Cuando das a luz? Oh, this is a, a common question to ask to some uh, pregnant woman, you know? Cuando das a luz? Cuando das a luz? And this means when do you give birth? Okay? When is it going to happen? You know, the, the special day. So this is a common question for sure. Cuando, cuando means when, okay, cuando. Remember the accent mark on top of the letter A when saying cuando, uh, especially when this word is in a question, um, you need the accent mark, cuando, when, when, das a luz. Okay, this is the verb dar, a luz, the rest of the phrase, do you give birth? Cuando das a luz, when do you give birth? Okay, so when is the day? When is the special day? So this is another, uh, yeah, great use of dar, the verb dar. Uh, remember, dar a luz. We're not talking about light. We're talking about giving birth. <laughs> okay. That is a common term, a common phrase in Spanish. 